Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. We've been creating a lot of bar charts with hierarchies, etc. But the question here to ask is, are we doing it the right way, right? Um, we've been used to creating hierarchy, something like this. For example, uh, I, I have in on this particular chart here, I have bought in country, item type and sales channel, right? When you go to the lowest level, right, and uh, you get to see something like this, wherein all the names of these columns here are concatenated. For example, United States of America is my country, baby food is the item type and online is my sales channel, right? So this is how it is concatenated and uh, uh, you think that this is the way how Power BI works, right? But what if I tell you that there's a different way of creating a hierarchy bar chart, right? So for example, if you look at this particular chart over here, uh, you can very clearly see that uh, the hierarchy which is clearly defined united states of america under the united states of america you have beverages you have baby and then you have your sales channel right now uh, this is a very uh, efficient way of or or the right way of creating a bar chart isn't this chart giving a lot of meaningful information to you when compared to this particular chart which we feel like it is all clustered and you know, lo there's a lot of information and you don't really get to know uh, when you look at the first time as to what is happening. I think this is the right way of creating a bar chart, especially when you have hierarchies, right? So I'm going to teach you how to create this particular bar chart. So let's get started. Um, let's begin with creating a new page and then uh, I'm going to bring in the country and then I'm going to bring in the uh, uh, item type and then I'm going to bring in my sales channel okay and then I'm going to bring in the amount total sales amount okay let's convert this to a column chart let's convert this to a column chart right so sorry this has been converted to small multiples let us move this over here okay so we, we now have a, a bar chart right and uh, you can click on this button over here and go to the lowest level over here and you can you will start seeing things like it is all concatenated like how i showed you earlier right now let us see how we can sort of uh, bring them in a particular group like just how we have our hierarchy right let's go to the format tab and go to x axis over here and then when you scroll down you have this uh, concatenate labels option let's turn this labels off make sure that you are in in the lowest level of the view on the bar chart okay and then let's click on this three ellipses over here and uh, click on sort by so when you click on sort by you will see that it is now by country item type and sales channel so let's click on this so the moment you click on this the entire area gets sort of rearranged in the way we have our hierarchy it begins with us and then our uh, item type and then our sales channel right now let's go back into the x axis and then uh, let's scroll down and uh, change the line color to black you may choose whatever color that you want and uh, let's change this to solid so that you know i like it little this way and where it sort of defines very clearly what is happening and how the hierarchy is and then uh, let us change the data colors so i'm going to click on show all and then all the online i want to have in a particular color okay let us uh, say this color and all the offline i want to have it in this color okay so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it at that that and um, all the offline i'm going to have this color okay uh, offline change okay so now we have changed the colors as well now what happens when you uh, when you drill up on this particular chart you still retain that particular hierarchy and if you want you can change the colors as well you but you still retain the hierarchy here so let's drill up further right you see country and then when you drill down uh, so not this button you'll have to use this button over here which says expand down to the next level of hierarchy so when you do that you will see the next level of hierarchy and then when you click again you will see the last level of hierarchy that we have in our data set over here that we've just created right 
so and then you can add also add data labels over here right so this is how you create the bar chart with hierarchy the right way and this is how the power bi also wants you to create the bar chart uh, with hierarchy in in this particular way so yep so this is about it so i hope this video has helped you and you've learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials